Hello everyone, this is Civil War Geeky here with an updated demonstration of my Cori program. Now, I know it's been a while since I've last made a demonstration, but things have come up, haven't really had the time, and this wasn't exactly my top priority. But a lot of things have changed, and I figured another demonstration was needed. So let's get started. Okay, so for the first part of the demonstration, I'll just do a really simple quarry. Let's say a uh, 4x4x3, four by four by and I'll show you how to get the program. So to get the program, you just need to run the paste bin program, get the paste bin of the current version, and then whatever you want to name it. I'll call it quarry. So now that you run it, you just type in quarry to get it started. So we want a 4x4x3, four by four by so length is 4, width is 4, height is 3. Then I'll ask you if you want it inverted. Now inverted will go up, but inverted, say no, will go down, like a quarry, like you would expect a quarry to. And then not showing off red net yet. So it'll tell you your settings, tell you that you're starting, and then it'll go ahead and start mining. And it'll give you this nice display here that tells you how many blocks it's mined, percent complete, fuel, and all that. Now I decided to just wait until it's done. So when it's done, it'll just come back, and then it'll count all the blocks in its inventory. And if there is a chest behind it, then it will deposit all its blocks into there. And it'll tell you it mined 48 blocks, 48 of them were cobblestone. And the current fuel level is 553. So that is just a basic quarry. Also, I just wanted to show off real quick that it does come back to the start if it detects bedrock while it's mining. So just start it up again. That'll hit that block that it can't mine. It'll try 20 times to move forward, tell you it detected bedrock, and move back to the start then it'll tell you where it found the bedrock. So, now it's time to show off its RedNet capability. Now if you have a wireless mining turtle or a chunk loading mining turtle from MISC peripherals, then you can say RedNet yes or RedNet true when you start the program and it will attempt to interact with the distant computer. Now, it's probably better to set up the mining turtle first. It doesn't really matter which order you set them up in, it's just slightly easier if you do the turtle first. So just type in quarry. Um, let's do a longer one this time. Let's say 10 by 4 by 3. Inverted? No. Red net? Yes. So it says red net's enabled, the channel to open is 2, and then it starts sending messages to confirm with the computer that it is linked. So the channel to open is 2. So we'll go up here and we'll run this. It's the monitor program saying the monitor's on the right, and Cory, which is my program, saying that the red net uh, modem is on top. And if you want, you can also have another argument that is the turtle's ID here. But we won't, we'll just say that. And then it opens up the uh, monitor and ask for the receiving channel. The turtle said the channel was 2. So it flashed up a message saying that it was starting and it relayed to the computer that it was ready and it started going. So, this says that the turtle is now 15% done. It's mining a 10 by 4 by 1, well, one layer, and that is its current position right now, 9 by 2 by 1. So it's at position 6, second row of the first layer. Now, I will just let this finish up and then come back. And the turtle is done, so it came back to start, and it's calculating materials. And then when it's done, it'll tell you it mined 116 blocks, 116 of them were cobblestone, and it's fuel level. 
and the program will stop and the computer will regain control. And down here you can see it dug the 10 by 4 by 3 and it deposited all its materials into the chest when it was done. And that's about it for RedNet. So now that we're done with the basic stuff, let's get into some of the more advanced parts of my program. Now, something that I pride myself on in my program is that it's completely modular. There are a whole bunch of different things that you can adjust by arguments to the turtle. And they can be in any order you want, and it reads them just fine. So, say instead of having a chest behind it, you wanted to have a chest to the right. So when you started up your quarry, you could say quarry, and all of my arguments are found, I guess, with a dash. So you could say dash chest right. So it looks for the dash chest word, and then it takes the value after it as the value of what side the chest is on in this case. So you could run this, just a simple 2 by 2 by 2, inverted no, red net no, and it would start, it would mine out, it's 2 by 2 by 2, and then when it's done, it will calculate all its materials, turn to the proper chest side, and finish like it normally would. Now, because there are so many arguments, I've included a in-program er, uh, in help screen. So if you type in quarry-help, then instead of running the quarry, it will select help instead. So use up and down arrow keys to go through all the different arguments, and press Q to quit. Or just go to the very bottom of the arguments. So, there is a whole bunch of arguments, and I've included some examples so you can figure out how to use arguments too. And then, instead of running quarry, it just quits. Simple. So, the most basic arguments you can give the turtle are dimensions, and then the vanilla argument. So, if you say dash dimensions, are say a 5 by 4 by 3 and then say vanilla it won't prompt you for anything at all and what the vanilla does is it, it ignores all the arguments except for the dimensions if you wanted to just use the default that's in the file say if you have one quarry size you use all the time you could type dash default and straight from the uh, program the default is 3 by 3 by 3 so you could do that so, I'm just going to do that, and say dash invert false, dash red net, if I could spell, false, and dash chest side right. And so now it tells you all the settings you've changed, and it starts mining. And when it's done with its 5 by 4 by 3 it'll return and go to the chest on the right. Now that's a very simple argument, or set of arguments. Here in a sec when it's done I'll show you what say an automation of this turtle could be. Okay so here is a simple automation program with a lot of arguments. So this function, run quarry, all it does is call my quarry with all of these arguments. So dimensions, 2x2x3, two by two by invert false, red net true. The send channel is 200, the chest is on top, fuel safety is safe. So it'll ask for a thousand more fuel than it needs. So then it'll run quarry, it'll turn to the right, it'll move five blocks, then it'll turn to the left and run quarry again. And I've got a chest set up over there too. So let's save this and run automation. And it says more fuel needed. Because its current fuel is 426 and it needs 1004.
and so then it'll wait for rednet and I forgot to automate this one so we will just have to do it ourselves and it paired with the turtle and then the turtle will start and you could also easily automate this one too to just um, call call the uh, receiver program repeatedly then I'll go over here do the same thing again start the program it'll connect and the turtle will start and as you can see it deposited its dirt up there oh right 200 receive the initial message and start and that was just a taste of automation of what you can do with this turtle to make it move around to different locations well that's about it we've covered automation red net arguments the help function basic mining I think that's about it. Alright, thanks for watching.